All right, I'm back and I'm ready to start a 10 minute rose. Now, one thing that you'll notice, I have a different color out on my palette. And what this color is, is it's called Brown Matter. It's a deeper red and I decided I was gonna try a red rose. I haven't painted a lot of red roses. So if this doesn't turn out at all, you guys probably won't see it, but <laughs> um, we're gonna give it a try. So I put out the Brown Matter because it's a nice deeper red. One of the problems that I that you find when you're painting red roses is that in order to lighten your rose up, you add white and then that ends up turning your rose pink. So by using the brown matter, that gives me two different reds that I can use to make my rose uh, stay red. So I'm gonna give it a try. We'll see how this goes. Setting my timer for 10 minutes and we are going to start. Okay, so if I'm painting a red rose, I think I'm going to go with a bit of just a nice green background. And maybe throw a little bit of green and burnt sienna in there. Just do a little bit of that. Just make kind of a... Don't want to spend too much time on my background because I don't have a lot of time on this one, but I'm just going to go kind of like that and let's throw in a little bit of, maybe just add a touch of the blue to that and make kind of a darker green cross on it. That will look kind of cool. Okay, so let's give this a try. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take my brown matter and I think I'm going to take a little bit of violet in it, make a nice dark color to base this rose in with. And I think I'm going to go, let's point it this direction. So I'm putting in this nice dark base for the rose. It's gonna be a little hard for you to see that, but it's my nice dark base. And I'm going to go in with my violet. And my shadow. I'm gonna have my light coming from this side again. There we go. Now, I'm going to Start with some of that mixed with a little bit of this. Make kind of that nice color and come across the center with that. Get out of here, fly, I don't have time. <laughs> Let's do some reaching petals using that. little bit more of that brown matter. And I'm going to go a little more violet as I go to this side. I have noticed one thing about myself as I'm painting these is that uh, when I am painting fast my roses tend to grow quite a bit. Okay now I'm going to take some of this nice bright red and I'm going to bring it across the front. Here. Let's do a nice another layer these petals here coming in with that lighter red. Down to six minutes already. Now I'm going to take a little bit of white into that. 
see how quickly that'll wash that out, eh? Coming in with a little bit lighter. Have some light hitting that one. Down to five minutes. Okay, I'm going to go in with some of my green. And because my background is quite a dark green, I'm going to actually make my leaves a bit of a lighter green. Under five minutes, so I gotta be quick. Not gonna worry too much about a lot of this because it's a quick rose. I am going to take some of this darker color though. And I feel like I've made this side of my rose grow too much, so I'm going to cut it off with some of this green color. I'll take this and make a nice light stem through there. Okay, four minutes left. Take that green out of my brush because green will kill your red. And I'm going to take some of these. And I'm going to do some petal edging here with the light color because otherwise you're not going to see these petals very well. In there. Three minutes. Add some light there. Add a little bit of light out here. A little there where the sun will be or the light will be hitting that one. So you gotta be careful not to turn it too pink though. Because I want this to be a red rose, not a pink rose. Keep some of that dark down in there. And I'm going to go with a bit of a close that off on this side. I'm going to take some more of my violet here and just make sure I don't lose this bowl shadow over here. Here, there. Take a little bit of this lighter and go a little lighter now. In here. Take some of that red and just edge into that. I'm putting the one across the front here with this nice red. I think that's looking pretty nice. I don't want to lose shadow there. I have one minute left. Let's just see what else I want to do with one minute left. I'm going 
to just lighten up this one a bit and make sure it stays red. Just going to add back in a little bit of this red to make sure that it stays good and red. And it doesn't become a pink rose. And there we go. I hear you. <laughs> I can figure out how to stop my time. There we go. Well, there you go. That was an interesting exercise. That was a uh, nice red rose. I think that didn't turn out too bad for a 10 minute rose. What do you guys think? And for having not painted very many red roses, I'm actually quite happy with that. I'm just going to, I know I'm not supposed to touch it, but just gonna add just push that shadow in a little more there there we go okay i won't touch it anymore we're good all right so that's my 10 minute rose now we're gonna try a five minute rose and i have no idea how that's gonna go so <laughs> if you're enjoying these videos please give me a like and a subscribe and stay tuned to my channel as i'll be posting a lot more also, be sure you check out my website, www.rondaleannstock.com, where I have lots of videos and pictures, and I have reference photos. I've got my artwork on there and book recommendations, all kinds of things like that. So please check that out and uh, give it, a, uh, give it a, a look over. And we will see you on the next video.